Hello and welcome to Asian Wisdoms. It's been a while since I made a video about the fascinating world of Chinese metaphysics. In today's video, we continue our exploration of this ancient wisdom, building upon our previous discussions on yin yang and five elements theory. Today episode is quite interesting, because we'll be unveil the mysteries of Bagua and one of the basic feng shui school, Ba Zhai Feng Shui. First we will discuss about the common points as well as the differences between early heaven Bagua and late heaven Bagua. Then, we will calculate your life Gua number to see what they say about you. In the end, we will guide you to choose an auspicious home as well as arranging your house to get the best chi possible, and understand all fundamentals of Ba Zhai Feng Shui. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the wisdom we share. Part 1, The Commons Between Early Heaven Bagua and Late Heaven Bagua I have mentioned the origin of Bagua theory in my very first video. You can find it in my album at the popping tag here or at the end screen of this video. The limitless, Wu Ji, produces the delimited, and this is the absolute, Tai Ji. The Tai Ji produces two forms, named Yin and Yang. The two forms produce four phenomena, named Lesser Yang, Xiao Yang, Great Yang, or Tai Yang, Lesser Yin, Xiao Yin, and Great Yin, or Tai Yin. The four phenomena act on the eight trigrams, called Bagua. You can think of them like binary codes. With Yang energy is one and Yin energy is zero. That is the first layer. Put on another layer above this, we have four phenomena. Again, putting third layer of yin and yang energy on top of four phenomena, we got bagua. There are two things that early heaven bagua and later heaven bagua have in commons. They use the five elements, or five phrases wu xing, and same symbols. For the elements, qian, or heaven, and dui, lake or swamp, belongs to metal. Kuan, earth, and gun, mountain, are both earth element. Zhen, thunder, and sun, wind, are from wood element. Can is water presentative and li is fire. For the symbols, that is a whole subject to learn, which is related to advanced Chinese divination, a miracle tool that able a master can predict exactly what, who, when, how and why that thing happens. For now, learning to identify simple symbols of each gua is enough. Qian Gua represents the father, the eldest man in the family or the male owner of the house, government official, businessman, elders. Animals like, horse, elephant, swan. About human organs, Qian is the head, bones, lungs. Kuan Gua represents the mother, the eldest woman, the hostress of the house, the farmer, the ordinary people. Animals like, ox, buffalo, camel. Kuan points to the stomach. Jin Gua means, the eldest son of the family, the student, the class monitor or leader. Animals like dragon, snake, insects, whinny horse. Jin of human body is the legs, livers. Sun Gua is the eldest daughter, the widow, or priests and monks. Animals like, chicken, wild animals in the forest. Arms, thighs, air-related organs are of Sun Gua. Ken Gua means, the middle son, the thugs, the robbers, or the fairy man. Animals like, pig, fish, beaver, water-living creatures. About the human organs, it is the ears, blood, kidneys. Li Gua means the middle daughter, the female author, the people get problems with eyes, the soldier. Pheasant, peacock, turtle, tortoise, and crab belong to Li. As you can predict it, Li human organs includes eyes, heart and chest. Gun Gua is the youngest son, the male helper, people living on the mountain or man got leisure time. Animals like tiger, dog, mouse, farm cattle, fox, raccoon. Gen Gua symbols include nose, the backbone, fingers. Lastly Dui Gua, is the youngest daughter, the female helper, in society it also mean careers like dancer, actor, translator, fortune teller. 
For animals, it means goat, and creature living in the lake or swamp. The human organs are mouth, tongue, lungs, throat. Now let head to the differences parts between the two Bagua, the early heaven Bagua and late heaven Bagua. The early heaven Bagua number order is set like this. Xian is number 1. Dui number 2, Li number 3. Zhen number 4, Sun number 5. Ken number 6, Gun number 7. And the last one, Kuan number 8. About the directions of each Gua, Qian or Heaven is in the south, opposes to Kuan or Earth in the north. Can or Water is in the west, opposes to Li Fire in the east. In the northeast direction, there is Zhen, or Thunder, and you can see on the opposite direction, southwest, there is Sun, or Wind. Lastly, Dui, or Lake, in southeast, opposes to Gun, or Mountain, in northwest. This Fushi Bagua has some distinct features. Number 1. Look at the Bagua map. The cyclic order of this Bagua has both clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation. From number 1 to 4, it uses anti-clockwise rotation, Qian, Dui, Li, Zhen. Qian is heaven, the highest, at south direction. From number 5 to 8, it uses clockwise rotation, Sun, Kan, Gun, Kuan. Kuan is Earth, the lowest, at north direction. This is based on a theory, Qian is heaven, the first thing appeared that we notice. Then come the cold air or mist of Dui. Against this cold air, is the hot air of Li. This hot air rised into higher place and become cloud with thunder, which is Shen. When thunder appears, the wind, or sun, will start to flow. That leads to the movement of water, Can. Days by days, water shaped the surface into valley and mountains, Gun. And those whole things are nourished and protected by earth, Kuan. Number 2, there are clear opposition of the three Yao, of each Gua that opposes to each other. You can notice Qian has three horizontal lines, Yang Yao, and Kuan has three broken lines, Yin Yao. That is a eldest male, eldest female or father-mother pair. Li has a middle broken line but full straight in first and third line, Ken is reversed of that. They also form a middle male, middle female or middle son, middle daughter pair. The same rules applies to Dui, Gun pair, youngest male, youngest female or youngest son, youngest daughter, and Zhen, Sun pair, elder male, elder female or elder son, elder daughter. Number 3, Zhen and Sun belong to wood element so they have same energy. Qian, or heaven, is metal, bears water of Kansas. Zhen, or mountain, is earth element, bears metal of Dui. Li, or fire, is element fire, bears earth of Kuan. Number 4. The opposite pair in the second feature above is also at the same age. Which mean eldest male, Qian, is a pair with eldest female, earth. The elder male, Zhen, is paired with the elder female, Sun. The same applies to mid male, mid female of Kan, Li, and youngest male, youngest female pair of Gun, Dui. About 1000 years BCE, King Wen of Zhou, Zhou Wen Wang, 1152-1050 BC, was imprisoned in Yoli, present-day Tangyin in Hunan, by King Zhou of Shang. During that time, King Wen created the later Heaven Bagua, based on Fu Shi's The Early Heaven Bagua. There were lots of debations of Chinese experts Abu the reasons why King Wen fixed the original Bagua. They assumed that in the Xia dynasty, 2070 BCE to 1600 BCE, the ice melted and made the sea level rise, therefore flooded big lands and sank everything. In the Zhou dynasty of King Wen, the natural scene Rio changed and the Qi of heaven and earth were not as the same as the original. So King Wen drew the updated version of Bagua. The later heaven Bagua number order is set like this. Kan is number 1. Kuan number 2. Zhen number 3. Sun number 4. Zhong, or middle, number 5. Next is Qian number 6, Dui number 7. Gun number 8 and Li number 9. Compare side by side to early heaven Bagua directions, you will notice the differences. Qian, heaven, 
is now in northwest direction, and Cohen, Earth, is now in southwest direction. Li, fire, dominates south, meanwhile Can, water, dominates north. Zhen, thunder, possesses east and Dui, lake, is in the west. Sun, wind, is in southeast direction and Gun, mountain, is in northeast direction. This King Wen Bagua also has some distinct features compared to Fushi Bagua. Number 1. The cyclic order of this Bagua almost has clockwise rotation. The arrangement in the Bagua map is also different. This is based on the theory. The universe starts its movement from Zhengua because Zhen dominates east in February or springtime. The sun from the east rises and shine its sunlight to all kinds of creatures as those things receive energy from the sun. Then it is time of Sun Gua, which rules southeast, March and April, everything are growing. The next is Li Gua, dominates the south and May, summertime, the sun is at its peak with shiny sunlight that reveal everything clearly. The universe indicates earth, Kuen Gua, the role of nourish everything. Kuen dominates southwest as well as June and July. Next is the time of Duai Gua, ruling west, August, and autumn, it is the time most plants happily give its fruit, also the harvesting time. After this time, you may know what is coming next. That is right, the plants start to withering, sunset time, the transferring time of daytime and night time, the time of struggling. Qian Gua dominates the end of autumn and begin of winter, September and October of the year, together with northwest direction. When the universe steps into Kingua, the sun has done its working time and disappears from view, everything get tired. Ken dominates November in the north, where we rarely see the sun in this direction. And the only left Gua is Gen Gua, the last period of the year December and January, the universe nearly complete its cycle and start to transfer to a new one, the dark night is behind and we soon start to see light of the rising sun. Number 2, this Bagua doesn't have clear opposition of the three Yao, of each Gua, that opposes to each other like the original Bagua. Except Li and Ken pair, other opposite pairs combine one young and one old pair like Qian, Sun, eldest male, elder female, Gun, Kuen pair, youngest male, eldest female, and Zhen, Dui pair, elder male, youngest female. In summary, this is a table of all of the differences between two Bagua, you can easily compare them side by side. And this is the cycle of late heaven Bagua for those who needs. Let's move to next part, and discover your life Gua number and its meaning. Your life Gua number is a identifier that is derived from your birth year and gender. It plays an important role in some Chinese metaphysical systems, especially the Ba Zhai Feng Shui, Eight Mansions or the Eight Houses Feng Shui. Ba Zhai is said to be an old calculation, maybe 1000 years old, dating back to the Song Dynasty or earlier. However, it is only about 300 years ago, in the Ming Dynasty, that the first classic on this subject, the Ba Zhai Ming Jing, appeared. It writes about the energetic reflection of the house. I will guide you to your Gua number through three simple steps. Step 1. Take a look at this Life Gua number chart. You will easily find your Life Gua number based on your gender and year of birth. I will give you a few seconds to scan and write down your Life Gua number. Step 2. We will find out which Gua it is. Number 1 is for Can, Water. Number 2 is for Kuen, Earth. Number 3 is Zhen, Thunder. Number 4 is Sun, Wind. There is no number 5 star in the chart above because of its mechanism. For female, the number 5 star is changed to the number 2 star, and for male, it is changed to the number 8 star. Number 6 is for Qian, Heaven. Number 7 is for Dui, Lake. Number 8 is Gun, Mountain, and lastly, number 9 is for Li, Fire. Each Gua number has its own set of attributes and characteristics, and these qualities can provide some insights into your personality and life journey. We will explore their meanings in this final step. Life Gua number 1, Can Type Person People of the Life Gua number 1 or Can Type Person are often honest and passionate about adventure. 
In the business field, they can achieve much success. However, their adventurous personality can also make their career path unstable, as they can invest recklessly and be uncertain of the results. But if they know how to seize opportunities and set limits on risks, mosaic people can achieve incredible success. Life Gua Number 2, Kuan Type Person These people are often known for their many talents and dynamic personalities. They don't want to just sit still but want to build their own success. People born in the with this life gua number are often attractive and they catch the attention of many people. This is also a destiny that has a lot of luck and happiness in life. Life gua number 3, Zhen type person. People born in Zhen life gua often have a cheerful personality, also easygoing and have good communication skills. What is especially important to them is the value of money and material things. In love, they tend to joke around and not take it seriously, and this may hurt their lover. Life Gua Number 4, Sun Type Person They are loved by many people because of their tolerance, willingness to share and sympathize with those in difficulty. In love, they often have a lot of luck and advantages. However, they often face many difficulties and obstacles in their career. Life Gua Number 6, Qian Type Person People belonging to the Qian Life Gua are often loved by everyone because of their sincere and trustworthy personalities. They are also said to be creative and excellent at creating unique ideas. Thanks to this, they often achieve success in fields related to creativity such as business, technology or science. In a romantic relationship, they are very loyal and serious, and this leads to them often having a fulfilling and stable married life. Life Gua Number 7, Dui Type Person People of the Dui Life Gua often have a reserved and somewhat selfish personality. They don't like sharing the secret to success with others, so they rarely have friends. In addition, they easily believe flattery and sweet words from others. Therefore, their career path is often only average and few people achieve great success. Life Gua Number 8, Gun Type Person these people are often gentle, honest and do not tolerate injustice. This makes them highly appreciated in organizations and groups. Regarding love, Gen people show maturity and carefulness, so they have a happy married life. Life Gua Number 9, Li Type Person People with Number 9 Life Gua have a strong will, they are independent and do not want to rely on others. They have steady determination and must achieve the goals they have set at all costs, not giving up easily. This personality helps them easily achieve success, but at the same time they also tend to become somehow domineering and strict after success. However, Li type are often considered less happy in love. In Chinese astrology and matchmaking, Gua numbers are often considered and assessing the potential compatibility between individuals. That is a whole topic that if you want me to make a video about it, please comment below. We know that if we want to judge a person, we have to consider many other factors to paint a full picture of somebody's characteristics and life journey, not only his or her year of birth and gender. What we mentioned above are records from Ba Zhai Feng Shui School, which really highlight the importance of your Gua number. In this school, life Gua number goes beyond mere personality traits, it also holds significance in various aspects of your life. It can offer insights into your career choices, relationships, and even the best direction for your bed or desk in feng shui. By understanding your gua number, you can make more informed decisions and navigate life's challenges with greater clarity. Now we continue to explore about this in next part. Part 4. Bazai Feng Shui Fundamentals Now we look at this image again. You will notice that people with life gua number 1, 3, 4, 9 belong to east group, and people with life gua number 2, 6, 7, 8 belong to west group. Each person has their own feng shui chart. You can look at these charts to find out which is yours. Also, you should take a picture of it for easy reading later. As you can see, 
Every chart has eight directions, and qi of these directions are generated from sum of 108 stars in Chinese astrology, an interesting topic that I may make another video about. Don't forget to comment if you want to learn about Chinese astrology too. Now back to today's topic. Eight directions are divided into lucky and unlucky group. The four lucky directions include. Life generating, Shen Qi, is created by Tan Lang star. Heavenly doctor, Tian Yi, is of Ju Men star. Longevity, Yen Yen, came from Wu Chu star. Stability, Fu Wei, is affected by Zhu Fu star. And the four unlucky directions include, the six killings, Lu Sha, and mishaps, Hua Hai, they are both controlled by Lu Tsuan star. Five ghosts, Wu Gui, is dominated by Lian Zhen star. Life ending, Jia Ming, is controlled by Pu Jun star. So what do they mean to your life? Let's find out. Life generating, Shen Qi. This direction attract wealth, fame, promotion and prosperity. It is beneficial for male, increases their reputation, creates abundant vitality for people, enhances strong sexuality. It is a good location for entrance door. However, if you put a toilet, storage room etc. in this area, you will often lose money, become unemployed, give birth prematurely, and have many diseases. Heavenly Doctor, Tian Yi this direction has a positive impact on health, longevity, and women. It also brings wealth, eliminates mental illness, improves sleep quality and attracts important supporters or relationship luck. You will gain good qi if could put your bed in this area, with the head pointing toward this direction. Like all lucky directions, toilet, storage room should not be placed here. In this case of Tian Yi, the owner will suffer from a chronic disease or cancer. Longevity, Yen Yen. This one strengthens good health, relationship luck, happiness, abundance. It will increase the harmony between husband and wife, helping women able to find good partners. Since it promotes longevity and self-sufficiency, this is a good place for master bedroom. If Yen Yen area is used for restroom and warehouse, then there will be quarrels and gossip, it is hard to find peaceful moment in the house. Stability, Fu Wei, is a good direction that improves mental strength, personal progress, and good luck in exams. It helps the homeowner feeling stable, enhancing love between men and women, good financial luck, good relationship for all family members, but remember this one declines sexuality. It is a good idea to put altar to worship ancestors or gods in this area, other than that, Putting kids' bed pointing towards this direction will help them focus studying. If you are into self-development, this is the direction where your bed head should be. If the Fu Wei area has restroom, storage room, the homeowner would be hot-tempered and always feels uneasy. In contrast, the four unlucky directions only lead to good results in case putting restroom or warehouse in those area. Mishaps, Hua Hai. Means legal trouble illness, mild mishaps. If Hua Hai area has a toilet or warehouse area, then the people in the house will be peaceful and harmonious, get good health, and avoid social matters. If it against the rule above, the family members will be divided, get tired of trivial matters, often get legal disputed, and lose their wealth. Five ghosts, Wu Gui. Leads to, quarrel, money loss, illness, and accident. When the homeowner use it correctly, the his or her business will improve and get better, and diplomatic matters will be solved easily. He or she will get along well with other people and get necessary help. On the other side, if misuse, they may lose their source of income or lost their jobs. At work, fights and quarrels with their colleagues are hard to avoid. Six killings, Lu Sha. Brings, setbacks, argument, disturbances in emotional relationships, hatred, lawsuits, accidents. If Lu Sha area has restroom or warehouse, the people in the house have the righteous thoughts, and good love. In case Lu Sha is misused, then love is difficult to find, husband and wife will often quarrel, 
and their career will meet many barriers. Male person may lost his will and fall into alcohol or gambling. And last but not least, life ending, Ju Ming. Actually, this is the worst among the worst directions. This star can causes the homeowner's business to go bankrupt, getting dangerous illnesses, sometimes even death. That is why its name is life ending. However, as we know it, the same solution applies to all bad directions. If used correctly, it will help the homeowner increase longevity and good health. The young children will be reweared with good fortune. You don't want to mess up with this directions, it may lead family member to incurable illness, surgery, car accident, theft, and feeling uneasy. In case you are confused with all above explanations, I will sum up 8 mansions or Ba Zhai Feng Shui basic rules here. Number 1. The East group of people live in the East group houses, and the West group of people live in the West group houses. East group houses are the one that sits or have their back in directions of North, South, East, and Southeast. West group houses possess the remain directions. Number 2. The main entrance should be in the lucky direction. Number 3. The master bedroom should be in the lucky direction. Number 4. The bed should be in the lucky direction. Number 5. The kitchen and stove should be in the unlucky direction, but the stove should face the lucky direction. Number 6. The restroom, utility room, and storage room should be in the unlucky directions. Reading the first rule. We notice this is not practical in majority. There will be a family mixed with East and West groups. This is a flaw of this feng shui school despite of its popularity. Anyhow, if you want to learn about feng shui, we should first accept it and think it as first laying bricks on your Chinese metaphysics study journey. We will complete our feng shui knowledge through later episodes. Now it's time to be more flexible and find a balance when arranging feng shui. We got all the ingredients and recipe, it's time to cook all of them together. Nothing is better than a real life example for this. Remember Joe and Hannah in my Yin Yang video. Joe has done a great job of balancing his work and life after learning about Yin Yang theory. But now he needs to move to another place due to his work, so he is looking for a suitable house to live in with Hannah. He wants to apply 8 mansions feng shui to get as much auspicious qi as possible. Joe was born in 1992, so his life gua number is 8. He is a gun type person, belongs to West Group. Hannah was born in 1995, we easily track her life gua number is 1, and she is a kin type person, belong to East Group. There are two house in the same area with the same price, house A, sitting south facing north and house B, sitting west facing east. From these two images, you can easily know that house A belongs to east group and house B belongs to west group. So how should they decide based on 8 mansions feng shui? Depending on the role of the person, we make the decision. Since Joe is the breadwinner of the house, the sitting and direction of the house should be in his lucky direction. That means house B of west group is the better choice. With Hannah is the cook of the family, the kitchen and stove layout should be placed to face her lucky direction, which are of East group like, North, South, East, Southeast. This is the best scenario for Joe and Hannah. What if for some reasons, they cannot live in house B, and must choose house A of East group? It is a better house for Hannah overall but Joe needs to renovate his lucky area by doing more activities and noise, which will increase the energy of the stars and activate luck. In short, he should put his working desk in his lucky sectors of West group like, West, Northwest, Southwest, and Northeast, also facing toward those directions. In any decision, think about different layers that you could change. If the house sitting direction and house entrance are fixed, there are still things that you could change to activate lux by like stove, bed, Switch to your auspicious sector to gain the best chi. There is also one thing you should know, unlike other schools of feng shui, in Ba Zhai Feng Shui, the sitting direction is employed instead of the facing direction for the bed and door layout. Thank you for joining us today on Asian Wisdoms.
Please comment if you want to ask anything about Bagua and Ba Zhai below. In future episodes, I will reveal more about Chinese metaphysics as well as feng shui tips, and you'll gain a deeper understanding of yourself and the energy around you, ultimately helping you make more correct decisions and lead a more fulfilling life. Again, I am John, may the wisdom of the ancients guide your path towards harmony and prosperity.